In this video, we'll, we will be taking a look at multi-step measurement problems. You will need to turn to page 417 in your math book. And the goal for today, which is something I want you to write down in your math journal, is that you're going to be converting measurement units to solve multi-step problems. Now let's all turn to page 417 in your math journal, and we're going to unlock this problem together. Now it says at the top, a leaky faucet in Jared's house drips two cups of water each day. After two weeks of dripping, the faucet is fixed. If it dripped the same amount each day, how many quarts of water drip from Jared's leaky faucet in two weeks? Now we're going to take a couple steps in order to solve this problem. Okay, so step one, what we want to do is we want to record the information we are given. Okay, so we need to think about what we know about this problem. Okay, we can see from looking at the problem that the faucet drips how many cups of water each day? It's going to be two cups of water each day. And we also know that the faucet that we can see here drips for two weeks. Now, our next step is we need to find the total amount of water dripped in two weeks. Now, since you are given the amount of water dripped each day, we need to convert two weeks into days and then multiply. Okay, so we know we get our two, that's how many cups are in each day. Days in two weeks, we know there are 14, week, 14 days in two weeks. Then we multiply two times 14, that's going to give us 28 total cups. So we can see that the faucet drips 28 cups in two weeks. You can see just breaking this down step by step, you can solve the problem. Now, step three, we can see that they're asking us to convert from cups to quarts. Now, we've already converted customary units of capacity. Okay, now when we need to remember that there are two cups in one pint, and there are also two pints in one quart. Okay, so we can see that 28 cups we're going from a smaller unit of measurement to a larger unit of measurement. Since there are two cups of one pint, we're going to divide 28 by 2. That's going to give us 14 pints. And then for the next step, how many pints? 14 pints equals how many quarts? Now we know that there are two pints and one quart. We're going from a smaller unit of measurement to a larger unit of measurement, so we're going to divide. 14 divided by 2 will give us 7. Okay, so we could see that our final answer would be, so Jared, Jared's leaky faucet drips 7 quarts in 2 weeks. Okay, now they're asking us for the question, what if... What if the faucet dripped for four weeks before it was fixed? How many quarts of water would have leaked? Now, we know that if seven quarts in two weeks happened, now we know that four is double of two. Okay, so four weeks is double of two, so that means we would just double our answer, and that would just be 14 quarts. We can write that in at the bottom of page 417. Now let's turn our book to page 418 and let's do this next problem together as well. It says a carton of large grade A eggs weighs about 1.5 pounds. If a carton holds a dozen eggs, how many ounces does each egg weigh? Okay, now first step, what we need to do, in ounces find the weight of a carton of eggs. All right, so we know that we need to think about one pound equals 16 ounces. Okay, now we need to think about the weight of a carton in ounces. We know in our word problem that it, a, a, a grade A egg weighs about 1.5 pounds. A carton of grade A eggs weighs 1.5 pounds. Okay, ounces in one pound, we have 16 ounces in one pound. Okay, so what we need to do is multiply 1.5 times 16. We can just do that right on our calculators. 1.5 times 16. 
and you can see that gives me the answer of 24. Okay, so the first step we need to fi figure out how much it weighs in ounces, so 24 ounces. Now step two, in ounces find the weight of each egg in a carton. Okay, now remember one carton equals a dozen eggs, and you may not know this, or you may forget, but one dozen equals 12. Okay, one carton equals 12 eggs. So we know that we can take 24 ounces, the total amount, and we're going to divide that by 12. Okay, so we can see right over here, 24, and then divide that by 12. And that's going to give us 2 ounces of one egg would be 2. So each, we each egg weighs about 2 ounces. Now what I want you to do is complete numbers 1, 2, and 3 at the bottom of page 418. And then I also would like you to think about that math talk where it says explain the steps you took to solve exercise number 2. Okay, I want you to do these problems in your math book. And you may need to write down that explanation in your math journal if you don't have room. And when you're finished, you can press play and I have the answers for you. So pause the video now. Okay, so you can see the answer for number one is 80. Okay, and then we have 3,520 moving right down and then 44 practices. Now the answer for number two you can see that it is 100 boxes. And then finally for the answer number three, we have 80 drinks. Now, your explanation, the steps you took to solve exercise number two, you may say something along these lines, and I want you to listen to me read this as you read along with your answer. You could have had something like this. First I found the pounds of flour in each box. Then I converted three tons to pounds and divided the pounds of flour ordered by the pounds in each box. If you have something along those lines that would work to, re to um, have your answer for exercise number two. Okay, we're going, what I want you to do now is turn to page 420, and I know we skipped 419, and I want you to do that on your own. Okay, but let's take a look at number 10 on page 420. It says, at a local animal shelter, there are 12 small dogs and 5 medium-sized dogs. Every day, the same, the small, sorry, every day, the small-sized dogs are given 12.5 ounces of dry food, and the medium-sized dogs are given 18 ounces of the same dry food. How many pounds of dry food does the shelter serve in one day? Now, a couple things that we need to think about. Think about what you are, what are you asked to find? Okay, we want to focus in on what we're trying to find. And what we are trying to find, and I want you to write this on page 420, is we are trying to find the total weight in pounds of the dry food served in one day. Okay, so whenever we think about what we're, tr what we're trying to find, or what we're asked to find, that always helps us focus in on the important information. Now, what information will we use? Okay, so think about what are some things that we will use from the problem. And I want you to write this down on page 420. The information that we will use, there are 12 small sized dogs that eat 12.5 ounces of dry food each. And there are also five medium sized dogs that eat 18 ounces of dry food each. Okay, so we know that. Now, what conversions will you need to solve the problem? Let's take a look at letter C. The conversions we will need is the amount of food. Let me show you this here. The amount of food eaten each day is given in ounces, and I need to know pounds. So I will convert from ounces to pounds. Okay, so we know whenever we're converting from ounces to pounds, okay, we're going to use 16 because they are 16 ounces and one pound. Now let's do letter D together. It says show the steps you use to solve the problem. Okay, now for the small size dogs, what we are going to do is we are going to take 12, because there are 12 small size dogs, and we're going to multiply that by 12.5 ounces. Okay, 
because we're getting the 12.5 ounces from how many ounces they are given each day. So 12 times 12.5, you can do this right on your calculator, and that's going to give you 150 ounces. Now, medium-sized dog, we have five medium-sized dogs, so we're going to take that five. We're going to multiply that by 18 ounces given to each medium-sized dog every day. And that's going to give us the answer of 90. So we're still not finished. We need to take that 150 and 90 and add it together. That's a total amount of ounces that will be given in one day to all of the dogs. That's going to give us 240. Okay, now that's the total amount of ounces. Now we need to convert that to pounds, so we're going to take that 240, and since we are going from ounces to pounds, a smaller unit of measurement to larger, we're going to be dividing by 16. 240 divided by 16 gives me 15. Okay, now we're going to complete the sentence on for letter E. The small size dogs eat a total of 150 ounces of dry food each day. The medium sized dogs eat a total of 90 ounces. The shelter serves 240 ounces or 15 pounds of dry food each day. Now you can see this is how you solve these multi-step multi measurement problems. It is important to always think about what you're trying to find, what information will you use, and any types of conversions you will need to do to solve the problem. And following these steps will really help you out solving these types of problems. If you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me.